The Rogue Camp is a dangerous part of Tarkov, and for good reason. According to mechanics sources, it was previously operated by Terra Group, a secretive organization that plays a large role in the entire conflict in the region of Tarkov as a whole. Now though, it is home to a large group of the surviving USEC faction, and maybe they have claimed it as a base while they wait for rescue, or maybe they guard undiscovered secrets left behind by Terra Group. And that's where I come in. Mechanic is offering a reward to anyone brave enough to infiltrate the camp and retrieve intel on Terra Group's previous operations. I already have half of the puzzle, so there was no backing out now. Once again, I was joined by my brother, and a few days had passed since our last outing in the previous videos, so we were ready to jump back in. I chose to bring in the same RFB that I had been using before, and here's the build for anyone interested. Anyways, we were all geared up, so we departed for the camp, but we would face heavy resistance along the way. I also faced resistance from my recording software, which unbeknownst to me had updated itself and switched which microphone was being recorded, so unfortunately all of the audio from my mic is super screwed up. I thought about reenacting all of my dialogue for the raid, but I personally think you'd lose a lot without the genuine reactions in the moment, so I did my absolute best to fix the audio in my editor. Uh, apologies in advance for any issues with it, but with that out of the way, let's get to it. Our first raid of the day began once again by the chalets. We weren't in any huge hurry, so we took a few minutes to pick through the first one. The one on this table and these chairs. Uh, but look in the little pool on the dead body. It wound up being pretty dry, so we decided to move further north to pass the second house. Nice. After cresting the hill, I took a moment to survey the building, making sure there were no shooters in the windows waiting to capitalize on an unobservant target. There was nothing obvious, so we got moving. I don't know how to see anything, we'll just say fuck it and go. Okay, I'm oh, shot. Something. Yeah. Up on the rock in front of us, there's two of them. I got one. Got two. They're both dead. Jesus, okay. I felt kind of... The brief crisis was averted, but I had to do some quick healing before yeah, we could continue. Kill them both. Yeah, I need to do surgery though. Cover me. Yeah, I will. I patched up my arm and was ready to take a peek at the loot while my brother hid nearby to cover me. I don't know how you get up here. I guess just like this. I've never seen anyone up here somehow. I'm glad you killed him because I did not know they were up there. I was looking in the wrong spot. It wasn't anything too crazy, but the fight had been a nice ego boost. I frotted some of my gear in place for theirs and shared a bit with my brother and the two of us went on our way. There's a landmine. We came up on the river village and after scouting the area, we moved down and prepared to cross into the hills so that we could push for the rogue camp. We decided to cross separately so that at least one of us could be in a good position in case there was another ambush. He went first and I carefully watched the hills in front of us. I'm on the way. Now that he was across, I made my move to join him. Remember to try and, if you're gonna stand still, tuck yourself into like a little bush or something like that, because you're really easy to spot right now. Yeah. Behind us, at the, at the house. Like where we left. You good? He 
He's right behind that police car. He might be dead. It's hard to, it's hard to say. I'm getting a ton of lag. Geez. Yeah. I'm pushing up, but I think I killed him. I'm not 100% sure, though. I was once again wounded, but luckily I had spotted that guy just in time. There was a chance I had killed him, but either way I needed to find cover so that I could heal up. After fixing up my thorax, I moved farther up the hill in search of some thick brush that I could hide in to do surgery, but our fight wasn't over yet. I feel like I got him. There, there's still one there. Okay, there's still one there. Okay. Where? Or he's just he's by the police car again, like right by the police car. We should move. He's running the other way. Yeah. yeah, come up to me. Come up. I think there's a different guy. It's, it, it might be, but come up to me. We're gonna. We're, I want to get this guy. If he's gonna try and get him. We had made a lot of noise, and my brother was firing tracers, which would make it easier for our enemies to pinpoint our location. With all of that in mind, we moved even farther up the hill so that we could heal and repack mags. As of now, the rogue camp was on hold as we were both invested in this fight and the potential loot laying just across the valley. Once we had finished our healing and repacking, we spread out on the hill to survey the village, hoping to spot that second guy that had gotten away. All seemed quiet over there. We were still suspicious, but we wanted to check things out, so we cautiously crossed back over one at a time just like before. So we still don't, I don't know if that guy exfilled while we were healing, or while I was healing, or if he's hiding up there. Yeah, I know. Hold on. Uh, that, I think, is a PMC that has been stripped. I'm guessing that the teammate grabbed his gear. His stuff, yeah. I'm gonna, be, his I'm gonna be stupid and try yeah, it. Yeah, this guy has definitely been stripped. You can grab his gun. I guess, yeah. Or I can grab his gun if you don't want it. His tag is still here. Maybe this guy was just extremely light, actually. All right, let's just go. You get it all? Yep. We didn't know what had become of the second enemy, but we didn't want to stick around and find out. So we decided to leave through the path to shoreline exit. While we hadn't completed our main objective, we had both survived the encounter, so we chalked it up as a win. We still had to make it to building one, though. Neither of us knew how to approach the camp from the ocean, so it would be tricky. Regardless, we set out to accomplish our goals through trial and error. Once again, I'll be trying to add a bit of context to this section with text in the top right, but keep in mind that all of this happened over the course of several raids. Yeah. I'm dead. As you can see, it was rough out there. We had made virtually no progress towards our goal, and the biggest roadblock standing in our way was the fact that neither of us knew how to approach the camp from the ocean to the west. 
However, our luck was about to change. We once again built some kits in preparation for another outing. I chose to take the same ADAR that you've seen in previous raids, and for some reason it just kept coming back in insurance, so I wasn't complaining. Unfortunately, this next raid has the same issue with the audio as the last one, but I've still done my best to fix it, so hopefully it won't be too noticeable. In a lot of cases, I just scrap a raid when things like this go wrong, but this one turned out to be really cool, and it is important for the unfolding story in this little series. Anyways, getting back to it, we were both geared up and ready, so we once again departed for the Lighthouse Territory. We found ourselves on the southwestern shore of the region, so we traveled north towards the rogue camp. I mean, I guess we can try approaching from this side of the map. I've never really done it before, though, so... A few minutes later, we came upon the seaside cabins that we had previously visited for Therapist. Because of the item in the house and the locked Marin car in the lot, I usually err on the side of caution when traveling through this area. With all of that in mind, my brother and I sat in the bushes for a moment to look and listen for anything suspicious. Right as we were about to move through, something caught our attention. People in front of us, in front of uh, it's on the, at the house. Close house. Oh, they're shooting us. Yeah. I love that, because I can't see shit through the window. Yeah, I can't either. We had made contact with at least two enemy PMCs, and it looked like we'd have to fight our way through to pass them. You're gonna move up more to the right? My brother moved farther right to get a better angle, and I uh, shot out the window so that I could see into the building a little bit easier. Are they still in that top room? Yeah. I'm pushing up. Okay. I want to get them trapped in there. Yeah, yeah. I wanted to push up and prevent them from leaving the room, and I was hoping my brother had an angle on the main door, but I was wary of the balcony to my left. Can you hold the this door? I'm watching the door. I'm watching the door okay. right now. Okay. I'm going to frag in there if you can hold it. Okay, I'm, I'm holding right now. Okay. It's in. Got one. Hold the door still. I'm still holding it. Okay. He's coming. He's, he's, out, out, he's, out, he's out. He's out. He's out. I'm pushing. Or you just hold. You just keep holding. Just keep holding. I'm, I'm holding. I'm holding. Okay. I'm underneath right I'm dead. now. I'm dead. Fuck. At this point, I wasn't sure what the best move was, so I decided to stay put in the boat room. I had one guy above me, and there was a good chance that a third party had shown up out in the woods. Yeah, there is more. There's another team that rolled up, I think. Yes. I know I heard you. I heard you take that stim. Yeah, man, you lit me up. Is that, I think, hold on. Do you have an, a buddy that's out in the woods? Because I think we might be getting third party. No, no. All right. No, I don't. I don't. You, you killed my only homie, bro. We're yeah. just here for that quest. Someone man. else. Sorry about that, man. You guys shot first. I couldn't see uh, shit through yeah, that window. I've seen both of you. i seen both of you on the hill just sitting there, and y'all scared the shit out of me. I thought I was going to get sniped. Get <laughs> yeah, I, I was trying to see you guys, but the windows were too dark, man. But I think there are people. Did you yeah, did you throw a grenade out in the woods? No. No grenade. All right. By us. All right. We're, we're getting Timmy's with Ketters and I'm Steve. All right, gotcha. We're getting third party, man. You want to team up? I'm so down for that. I'm I, just yeah. Heal for a second. All right, I'm healing too. Things had obviously gone bad, but I had a new potential ally. The two of us took a moment to heal up and figure out the situation. Nothing's black. You're a two man, right? I was a two man. I lost my buddy though. Someone threw a grenade at him out oh, in the woods. Holy shit. Okay, okay. So it's it's just me and you right now. There was pretty much nothing left to do but fight our common enemy, so we got to work. Oh, like, uh, like road side. Yeah, towards road, towards road. Okay, well, I really don't have much to lose. Um, I'm just gonna go run around and see if I can find him. <laughs> Alright. 
Downstairs, outside. Downstairs, downstairs, downstairs. I got him, I got him, I got him. You still good? Nice, nice, nice. Yeah, yeah, I'm All right. I just ran around the All right. I think it was a player scav, actually. No, no, this was a player, I think. Uh, do you have a, do you have yeah, a heavy bleed? Do you have a heavy bleed thing? Uh, yeah, 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 yeah. I actually, Where I'm just you? using an IFAC. I'm downstairs in the boat room. Come on down, man. Oh, okay. I actually stopped the bleed, but I'm fucked up right now, so. What's up? There you go. Use that. Heal up. Hey, thank you, man. And just like that, I had a new friend. He was kind enough to offer me some meds, and once I had finished healing, the two of us brought out our teammates' gear and debated where to go from here. Hi, brother. What are your plans after this? Were you heading south, or were you heading to road camp? Uh, I was heading to road camp, but with my buddy dead, I'm down to reset or kind of do whatever, honestly. With my buddy dead, my only quest was to go mark the uh, heli in road camp, so I was just going to run down there and do that. I did my uh, boy's gotcha. shit, so... We ended up agreeing to head to the road camp together, and funnily enough, this guy knew just how to get in from the ocean. So he took point, and I followed. Sir. How do you get into the road camp from this side of the map? I'm only used to going from the mountains. Um, you're, you're not a bear, right? No, I am a bear. <laughs> so, a little, oh. little rougher. Uh, we'll see if they're up then. Hopefully they shut. If they shut the first two, um, then we can run along the left side pretty I got untouched. You. And All right. Then yeah, yeah, but I, you're gonna need to be able to see him because you got the big gun. Yeah, I've got a scope, so we should be all right. If you can check if they're there, because I think you can kind of get closer, you have a little bit more leeway, but I can try and snipe them. All right, actually, so you're not on my team, so I could run up and go yeah, check real quick, yeah. see if they're there. All right, you stay around here, I'll go run and check. All right, man. So he went up to scout, and about a minute later, I heard him returning. You coming back? I'm 60% 60 sure that, uh, that they're dead from what I can see without crossing the water. All There's... right, fuck it, let's go. Is your gear insured? I'll toss it in the water. Yeah, all my shit's insured. I would appreciate that, man, but you don't have to. All right, no, I will. We crossed the river, and at this point, I was learning forbidden knowledge that would help my brother and I complete our goals. All right, so what we do is we run around far left. All right. Just don't go too high up on the grass to your right here. That yeah, is mine. Yeah, I got you. Stay on the beat. You know what I just realized? I oh, totally I forgot to grab that OFZ. Oh shit, there's a yeah. like dead OFZ on the ground. Yeah, oh well. Oh, hopefully, hopefully somebody uh, deserving finds it. I kind of lost you. It's alright, I'm Oh, right. there you are. Alright. At long last, I had managed to make it into building one. My new buddy explained that he had to move to the center of the camp, and I offered to cover him from the roof once I had gotten the intel for mechanic. He showed me to the office I needed, and then we parted ways. I think your quest is either on the shelf or on the desk in here. Yeah, I just got it. Thank you. Do you need the back building one, too? Uh, no, I've already gotten that one. Alright, well, I'm gonna go run trying to get this helicopter out in the middle. All right, man, I'll try and get up on the roof in a minute. Best of luck. I'll try and cover you while you're out there. Yeah, man. Appreciate it, bro. I took a moment to poke around in the back rooms, told my brother to get ready for another raid, and prepared myself to head up to the roof. Just as I was about to leave, though, I spotted someone running through the main room. For a split second, I thought it could be my guy, but it made no sense for him to be here, so I prepared for a fight. It seemed like a player scab and it really wasn't worth my time, so I broke off and made for the roof to fulfill my promise. Before I could look down and search for my friend, I had to clear the roof to make sure it was safe. Everything was clear, so I got into position. 
I actually caught a brief glimpse of my friend, and then I decided to adjust my position ever so slightly. And just like that, it was all over. Hopefully my buddy made it out safely, but seeing as I was killed by Knight, one of the rogue bosses, he certainly had his work cut out for him. My brother and I ended up taking a break from Lighthouse by switching maps, so the rest of our adventure was on hold for now. The important part though was that we now knew how to get into Building 1 from the ocean, so things should be much easier from here on out. This is part 2 of 3 in my Rogue Camp adventures, and just like before, the final part will be out within 24 hours, so look out for that or check the description or pinned comment for links to the other parts if you're watching later down the road. If you want to find friends to play Tarkov or other games with, or you just want to be a part of the community, join my Discord, there will be a link in the description down below. And there is also a link to my Patreon page if you would like to support the growth of this channel. Anyways, I think all that I have left to say is thank you so very much for watching, I greatly appreciate your feedback and support, and I hope you enjoyed watching. Anyways, remember to take care of yourself, and have a good night.